Welcome to AP Computer Science in Java. In this lesson, we'll cover some main Java topics. Let's get started. When you create a new file on CodeHS, this is the initial skeleton that will be created. There are a couple of components here that we will discuss to make this a little easier to understand. The first part of the skeleton is the program class. We will learn more about this in Unit 2, but for now, all you need to know is that all of the code in a Java file must be encompassed in the Programs class. We wrap everything in the class program by enclosing it all in a pair of curly brackets. We also place the brackets on the line below the class so as to make the code easier to read and debug later down the road. An important thing to note is that the name of the class must match the name of the Java file. If the name of the class doesn't match the name of the file, it will cause an error and the program will not run. The second component that's vital to the Java file skeleton is the main method. The main method is the point from which most Java programs start their execution. The main method will read any code that is written between the curly brackets and execute that code as written. If the main method is not included in the class, the system will throw an error indicating that the main method needs to be included in order for the program to run. Now that we understand the skeleton of a Java program, we can start creating them. One thing we can include in the main method is a print statement. Print statements are used to print calculations, messages, alerts, and other output to the console for users to see. The system class method printLine is broken up into two components. The first is the class method. This indicates to Java how the message should be output into the console program. The second is the system print method input. This contains the content that will be displayed in the console. The content that is meant to be displayed should be placed in between the two parentheses. For now, the content that we will learn to display will be messages. We can write messages by creating string literals. A string literal is a sequence of characters enclosed in double quotations. Anything you can type on a keyboard can be included in a string literal, as long as it is enclosed in the double quotation marks. When we put the system class me method print line in the main method and run the code, we can see that the code displays in our console. An important thing to note is that all of these calls to print line must include a semicolon at the end. If there is no semicolon, the program will throw an error, indicating that a semicolon is missing. The semicolon is needed on individual lines of code, but isn't needed at the end of the main method or the class, as they use curly brackets to indicate what code is wrapped in each component. When using the system class, there are two different ways that we can print output, print line and print. The big difference between these two is that print line prints and then goes to a new line, but print prints and then stays on the same line. Here you can see that when print line is called twice, the output is displayed on two separate lines, just as the code is separated in the main method. The print statement, however, displays the output on the same line. If you were to use print line followed by print, the print statement will appear on the next line, but if the print statement comes before the print line, the statement will stay on the same line. Print line affects the subsequent line, not the one that comes before it. Now it's your turn. 